So before we start the video, I just want to mention that you can get access to over a thousand medical and USMLE multiple choice questions on our website. New questions are added weekly, so just click the link in the description below to get instant access to them. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about lichen planus. So according to the British Association of Dermatologists, lichen planus is a fairly common, itchy, non-infectious rash that usually occurs in adults over the age of 40. The word lichen is derived from Greek, which means small bumps, and planus comes from Latin, which means flat. This means that the name actually originates from the appearance of the disease. So the symptoms of lichen planus involve numerous itchy eruptions on the skin, particularly on the wrists and the ankles. They can also affect the mucosa of the mouth, the genitals and the scalp. These itchy eruptions are usually shiny, purple and have a flat top. They are known as papules. There may also be the presence of white lines on the surface of these papules, and these white lines are called Wickham striae. So the etiology or the cause of lichen planus is actually unknown, but it's theorised to have an immunological cause. So that means that the immune system and the skin's natural defences are overreacting. So when we take a sample of the skin and examine it under a microscope, there's a high amount of lymphocytes around the basal keratinocytes, which means that they are attacking these cells. So what this results in when you look in the microscope is edema, which means swelling, and the formation of clefts. You can see that from this picture here. It's important to remember that lichen planus is actually a non-contagious disease, but it could be quite severe in its appearance, causing hyperpigmentation and the formation of bullae. Usually, lichen planus resolves on its own, and the aim of the treatment is usually to resolve the symptoms, which involves the application of topical corticosteroids, for example, clobethazole propionate. In more severe cases, the corticosteroid is given orally alongside immunosuppressive drugs like methotrexate and mycophenolate mofetil. And with lichen planus lesions in the oral cavity, it's important to have an exact diagnosis of lichen planus before a treatment plan is made. And this is because the lichen planus papules and the white lines called Wickham striae may resemble other diseases like a squamous cell carcinoma. So a biopsy should be taken and then further treatment can be made. So further treatment of lichen planus in the mouth involves improving oral hygiene, application of topical corticosteroids like betamethasone, or giving systemic corticosteroids in severe cases.